the audience would like to hear the most. You want to, you want to talk about our, our Sam? Our Sam. Sam. But not that Sam. Nope. Not not Bankman Freed. Altman. Altman. Sam Altman. Tell us, tell us what's going on with Sam. So Friday, the board of directors met over a basically a little board meeting. A little board meeting? A little board meeting for OpenAI. Mm -hmm. And what did they decide to do? They decide to uh, get rid of Sam Altman from being the CEO of OpenAI. They got rid of him. They got rid of him. Uh, that's wild. Do you know what? Why? The biggest, the biggest artificial intelligence company out there, pretty much. Fire their CEO. Fire their CEO. It's like, okay, well, they're doing great. Why get rid of him? That's the question. Right? So, so there's this thing that's been going around, conversation about AGI. Uh, uh, artificial general intelligence mm -hmm. and the wording theory is he got kicked or booted because of his opinions on that specific type of technology at least this is, this is from from what i saw <clears throat> this is a guy named uh, da uh daniel miss measler mm -hmm. i'm sorry if i mispronounced that but uh we, we do that here a lot yeah <laughs> we did do that a lot um he seems like he's pretty pretty deep into the ai space and um he goes on he wrote a post uh, talking about agi and that that's part of the reason that the coup took place and they booted sam but they booted someone else also didn't they no um, i thought it was another guy the other guy resigned oh he just left yeah after sam um was um fired he resigned shortly after mm -hmm. yeah um so essentially uh agi is this like technology that's the ai that people are afraid of where the ones that take over the world it's pretty much can be self-sufficient and that's kind of close to it <laughs> um and it seems like people on the board uh believe that they are either at that point where agi is imminent or already exist and uh sam just wanted to keep on if i if i understood this correctly sam wanted to keep on going forward with it um so he's sam wants to accelerate he doesn't want technology to be like uh stifled down or like mm -hmm. slow down and the board was like no we need to take this very serious and slow down so the rest of the people on in open ai don't want agi to be a thing in the relative future relatively near future and they want to like slow down there's these two groups apparently they are against uh, AGI and they want to slow down make sure the decisions they want okay so essentially it's not that they're against AGI they just want AGI to be on the side of the humans they don't want there need to be any miscommunication where oh let's fix global warming okay cool eliminate humans and of course for profit businesses or big business big corporations are going to definitely want humans to be alive you, yeah we're not humans to be alive but now want to accelerate AI further mm -hmm. because of that fear yeah. so there's these two groups there's the existential risk community and there's the effective altruism community they're more or less similar in the fact that they both want uh, betterment for human society but they have like slightly key different oppo opposing viewpoints but pretty much in this whole debate they're like kind of on the same side and that's the group that is against Sam and against AGI being because essentially ex the ex existential risk community or the X risk community is afraid of any threat that can pose to be existential for human life versus the effective altruism which is like they want to help as many people as much as possible so that's why they're like similar fields yeah. and AGI seems like it's not not going to be easy to control once it's out there. Um, so you said that something else happened to Sam after he got kicked out? Yeah. So after he was outed of um, OpenAI Friday, this is the timeline that follows. Sam Altman fired from CEO. OpenAI appoints Mira Murati as interim CEO. Mira wants Sam Altman in the company. Looks like Sam Altman will again become CEO because that was talked about on Twitter. Like that was one of the things that, that I did see. Second thing is board surprisingly appoints 
Emmett Shear as a new CEO. That's um, the ex Twitch CEO. Twitch. Twitch, yeah. And today was announced Sam Altman joins the Microsoft team. Today being Monday, November 20th, yeah. Monday. So Sam, uh, Sam got picked up by Microsoft. Which is, I, not conspiracy, but more so um, coincidence, if you want to say. Who is the largest investor in OpenAI? Microsoft? With $10 billion. $10 billion? Yes, I okay. believe. So they Microsoft definitely saw the technology that OpenAI is coming with. Yes, and hired him. But not just that, though. In that deal, Microsoft has full access to open to OpenAI's training data, how what they're doing, everything. No way. Yeah, they don't. Have, it's not. Like, okay, so it's like open, it's a ten billion dollar yeah, investor. True, true, true. It's a big. It's a big. It's a big chunk of money. If, if I'm yeah. saying it was ten billion dollars, something. Like, okay. And that's a large chunk chunk of change. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting how the company that they are a large owner of. Mm -hmm. But they can't fully buy outright because it is a non a nonprofit. They just instead the CEO gets let go. They pick up their CEO. Mm -hmm. I think it was planned. You think it was planned? Hundred percent. You think that there was some colluding? There was something there to get Sam out of OpenAI, the nonprofit organization, on into his Microsoft, yeah. where he a can work for profit organization, a for profit organization where more capital, more resources, and he's gonna have his own subdivision in there. Doing what? Working on what? AI. Mm -hmm. AI research for Microsoft. With full access to the open AI database. team, everyone. And database. And database. That's that's actually, I was not aware of that. But seeing how that's the case, Microsoft can definitely make large improvements very fast in their in their whole the division of artificial intelligence. So, this came from Satai Na Nato, which I believe is the CEO of Microsoft. I'm going to double check that right now. Satai Nato. Yeah. He tweeted something? Yeah. Yeah, which is it is him. He's been the CEO of Microsoft since 2014, since Port Gates stepped on, basically. This is a tweet from him. We remain committed to our partnership with OpenAI and have confidence in our product roadmap and our ability to continue in innovation with everything we announced at Microsoft Ignite. And in continuing to support our customers and partnership, we look forward to getting to know Emmett Shear and, and OpenAI's new leadership team and working with them. And we're extremely excited to share the news that Sam Altman and Greg Bookman, together with colleagues, will be joining Microsoft to lead a new advanced AI research team. We look forward to moving quickly to provide them with the resources needed to their success. So, Elon, who was originally partnered up with OpenAI early on, mm -hmm. he was an early oh, investor, yeah. which he later stepped away from because they were not they were moving away from the nonprofit. How Elon wanted the open source and all of that. Mm -hmm. He tweeted below that. Now they will have to use. Team Black, uh, it's covered, damn it. But he said he he, he tweeted below that and he tweeted below a couple other um, tweets from Microsoft and the whole Yeah, shebang. he was adamant, like vocal about the, yeah. whole, the whole thing going on. Well, the thing is he never wanted OpenAI to be code closed source and for profit because his fear of was what companies, large companies Absolutely. can do with AI uh, itself. A hundred percent, yeah. Uh, if society wants to really move forward, and we don't want to see the end of freedom or human civilization. Or like just straight up, I feel like AI has a very big potential of creating like a big faction of like Nazis essentially. Yeah, whatever. Oh, so many things that could go wrong. All the problems you can see with AI within within closed doors closed can doors definitely happen. Can happen easier. for sure, exactly. So AI definitely needs to be open source. It needs to be as decentralized as possible because of the fact that like if one entity has uh, like any sway as to what gets outputted from that AI, then it could have drastic impacts on, on the world. Yeah, <clears throat> Elon is of the, the faction of slowing down progress. Yeah. He wants to make sure that any decision that gets made is thought of uh, thoroughly. 
so that we don't see the adverse uh, effects that can happen that are quite devastating. And I think this ties into the whole crypto space is where you're going to want the database to be what? Open source, fully decentralized information, not handled or swayed by one group or another. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not just the code now that you bring it up. It's not just the code of the AI. It's also the information that, that it will be receiving that, that it that it has to, yeah. to work off of. If just one organization is providing information to the AI, then that could also affect what gets outputted, even though the the code itself is pretty neutral. Yeah, but that's, I think it's a little con not con con coincidental that he took colleagues and everyone else from OpenAI Open AI to Microsoft. To Microsoft. Wow. That's it. Was very big news. I actually had someone even text me like right on Friday evening. He's like, "Have you seen what's going on with AI?" Is big, big news. Like, I don't even know like what's what's to come of all this. Uh, hopefully, hopefully Microsoft doesn't become too too super empowered. Doesn't become Skynet. Yeah, it's quite literally on on the way there. I mean, especially if that uh, AGI thing is is real and has been created. Artificial intelligence that does not need or can replace human intelligence is quite terrifying. I mean, it just depends how big the training data gets, right? Yeah, it's. I mean, I don't know exactly the the nuances of of uh, artificial general intelligence, but it seems like there's a lot of fear, like within the people at OpenAI. I think within in. the people, just within. Not, I, I'm gonna say within. S very intelligent people who understand what it means mm -hmm. or what the potential outcomes could can be yeah it's the potential outcomes are quite existential <laughs> yeah but that's a thing i we just doubt that which is in itself just crazy and a lot can come from that what? microsoft already has an ai that's built into bixby uh Big, no, not Bixby, Bixby, Samsung. Yeah, Bixby, Samsung. Oh, my bad. Bing? Um, Bing. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's part of um, OpenAI. Mm -hmm. It was... Oh, they were pulling from OpenAI. Yeah. But now they're going to have their now own... Now they're going to have their own software. Wow. 